Hey, hi there. It's me again. My thought of the day is about lift and conversion. I don't know if you heard about this. These are sort of marketing terms and development cooperation communications usually doesn't go that deep into those terminologies. But I think you should know about what this what is behind all this so let's talk about lift and conversion let me explain to you conversion conversion basically means that uh, if you are let's let's stick with online if you define certain things to happen that are your end goal of your interaction that is conversion so basically what that means is you you want to sell something usually so in our world in development cooperation we usually don't want to sell something but we could still define certain things as a conversion uh if you, if we set that, those straight goals you know obviously awareness raising is the big thing so if people come to my event and listen to me then i could say that's a conversion because you know they probably probably hurt me and uh, therefore they have an awareness now about what i've been trying to tell them at the event um i could also just say okay if they come to the event in the first place that is my conversion i set that up or if they listen to it online and they hit like then i have a conversion you know i could define that basically as i want now what happens um when I let's let let's use an example, the conversion rate would be one hundred percent if I invite a thousand people, and a thousand people come. So if I spend a whole lot of money on marketing and this and that, and and then then I have a whatever I spend on this, I have a conversion rate of one one thousand people, uh, a rate of one hundred percent from those thousand people. So the difficulty with this is that I might not have the same lift because people might not have come because of me spending that money. Let's just make a, a thought example. Imagine that the company that helped me setting up the event had programmed um, the, the registration engine, online engine for people to log in. And uh, people had very quickly a registered in a, a thousand places were actually booked and only later uh, or, or during the process they tell me listen you know all the marketing materials all the posters all the write-ups uh, for the website all that was not online so they were pushing very hard to put everything online but, but for some technical reasons they had not really managed to get all those materials online there was some some hitch there so what does that mean it means that these thousand people registered for that without the influence of that material so that material that was produced to entice people to click was not really necessary they did obviously register without that material and that is lift and lift in this case is zero because very straight if i didn't have created uh, it, it wouldn't have created this material the people would have come anyway because they did so now think about this a whole lot of things in development cooperation communication are created without a good lift it's obviously not that clear cut like in my example but uh, the the difficulty is still there yeah so i think we need to make a move like some uh, people did in this sort of marketing world notably procter and gamble uh, a couple of years ago that actually uh, fired a whole lot of agencies because they these agencies could not really uh, prove any lift so we need to stop celebrating the likes and these these sort of conversions people are showing up and that we need to look at what is the lift how many people would have come to my event without any of that material
because they are interested in the networking. They're not even interested maybe in the direct speeches that are happening there. How many of them are whatever, interns, and you name it, or they just, you know, whatever the reasons are. So, and this not only concerns the marketing material used for the interaction, uh, to for, for um, enticing people to come there. It's also for a whole lot of other things, you know. There's a lot of um, communications uh, done that doesn't create lift. It creates conversion, but not lift. You have a lot of posts that are posted to uh, to your own group on LinkedIn and so forth, and you get a whole lot of likes. And the number of likes is predetermined by the number of people that were at the event or the number of people that work at, at your organization or the how high ranking the person was that spoke at the event. Because of a lot of people are hitting the like for different reasons and they maybe want to get the attention the other way around from those people at the organization that they did hit like. So there might be consultants that basically want to um, be in the good books of those people that created the event. These are all not really, um, they, they, they don't contribute to any lift in the sense of having a persuasion on the, by the messages that your social media interaction wants to produce. That is conversion, but no lift.